Hello. Tis I, Chio, um, the middle-aged man who likes to draw things. Back for another version of Look at My Drawings, Aren't I Fantastic? Um, what we're going to do is look through... Um, I've put all of my colour pieces into books. I've got a few of them now. Um, I thought it might be interesting if you want to look through this kind of thing. You've probably seen a lot of them before. But um, we'll give it a little look and I'll try to talk about them as much as I can. You know I'm, it's not my most favourite thing in the world to talk about my drawings. I like them to speak for themselves. You don't need a knobhead like me talking about them, but let's give it a go. Right, so we're starting off. These are, these are all originals, by the way. These are A4 originals that I've done with my felt tip pens, etc. Um, this one, the top one, is... I'll try to keep the sniffing as well to a minimum because it's bloody irritating. We got one of my Gert issues, which are, if you're lucky enough to find one online, because I think most of them have sold, but it's got tons of stuff in there that you can peruse, copy, put on a cheese shirt. Cheese shirt? Put it on a cheese shirt. So we got, there we are. Let's get on with this, shut up. <laughs> right, we got B. One of the many bees that I draw. Well, I thought I'd try and mix it up a little bit. Cigarette smoking, VW wearing, stereo carrying, farting bee. Adidas swearing. Yeah, it's all right, little guy. We got Gimp. Some of my Gimp stuff. Because I'm terrible at letters and I don't like doing P's, I write GIMP. And then replace the P with a character that I like. Let's get a little Kirby there. I love Kirby, he's pretty cool. Very simple character. Apparently it's from, it's the name of the solicitor, lawyer, that um, got them off the hook with them. Um, King Kong and Donkey Kong. His name was Kirby, so they designed this character for him. Yes, I watch Netflix. Right, we got uh, another gimp with a piranha plant. Being a Nintendo geek myself, I always love Nintendo. I love the characters and stuff. Um, cigarette smoking dolphin. Little known fact. All dolphins smoke cigarettes. It's nothing to do with, you know, when they say you're getting caught because of a, they're catching tuna and they're dying in the nets. No, it's, it's cancer that gets them. That's what it is. Right, what we got? Slimer, obviously from the best film ever made in the history of humankind. If you argue with me, you're just a simpleton and you should piss off. That and Jaws, obviously. Jaws and Ghostbusters, best two films ever made. Yes, facts, facts. Uh, Jack-o'-lantern. Oh, he's drawn on his stereo. That's obviously from Christmas. Um, Neo Geo guy. With his see-through dragon coming out of his spray can. I love that character, but nobody else cares. There we go. That seems to be the way it works. Do a really simple pencil sketch. Everyone loves it. Spend a couple of months on something and people go, eh, whatevs. That seems to be the way it is. History's naughty bugger. Or Mr. Um, Guy Fawkes. I don't know the history behind it. Right? We were taught it in school, but all I cared about, he was blowing stuff up. I mean, there's a lot of politics and religion and all that kind of thing behind it. It's very stupid of me not knowing my own history, but I was too busy drawing stuff and making willies out of plasticine. Um, 
very excitable chap with his Wonder Swan t-shirt, Bandai, handheld machine that I don't think even made it out of Japan. I don't think it got anywhere, which is unfortunate. I've never seen one in the flesh. I would love to see one because I used to have a Neo Geo Pocket as well, the little handheld one. That was, that was an amazing little handheld console. Boring match. Right, uh, we got Link from Zelda, kind of Wind Waker looking, looking character there. King Boo, Queen Boo, 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 Big Gob, Spray Can, Bellend, with his shell toes on. Um, stuck in a rut didn't know what to draw characters so just draw the same old guff quite like him oh that was when the switch come out literally a couple of days after when, once we first saw the reveal of the controller and I thought oh it would be good for a head of a character and it's a go viral and I'll make millions of pounds and nobody gave a flying git about it and I moved on Stuck in a rut again. There's a frog. Obviously, I mean, why wouldn't you draw a frog? Thank you, emails. Why wouldn't you draw a frog? On a hat of a bloke wearing a bag on his head. Obvious route to take. These were for um, Ribena. Uh, campaign is a, is a fruit drink. Black currant. Um, it's really big in the UK. I don't know if he's even anywhere else in the world. I don't know. But uh, this was for TV adverts. Um, they had augmented reality things for your personal telephone. They had um, billboards, of which I never took one photograph of the billboards. And um, now they've all gone into the annals of history. And I haven't got any images of it, so well done me. There we are. That's what I always do, I forget. I walk away from a piece sometimes and I haven't even taken a photograph. And I think, oh crap, I've got to go back now just to take a picture. Soppy git. Right, that's for the front cover of that one. Cartography, play on words. <laughs> genius um, these are the small London maps I do a load of stuff on all the maps themselves sold but um, and I think all these books have to tell you the truth but then I'm not out there buying them so I don't know how many there is this is the second version um, if it interests you look it up if it doesn't don't look it up and move on with your life little snow human for uh christmas cards those were Did those were the old crimbo cards that guy was on a christmas card uh train heads i did for a while i like the fact that, that each city town etc around the world has got their own kind of tube trains so i thought i'd be boy or be girl them up and uh, this is Japan. Uh, there's a New York one, obviously. Uh, another Christmas card jobby. Badass reindeer. Uh, London tube. That's about as far as I got with those. There is lots more, but it's like I get all excited and do a couple of drawings and then can't be arsed. This is a bunt like can from the, the old days when we used to have to steal our paint, but it had lovely colors, pink and lilac, instead of the browns and greens that you got from car plan and things like that. We could head back, a bit of iron lac with a squid and a Sony Mega base, it looks like, obviously. This bloke with a yellow G-Shock, which I had at one point, but somebody nicked it. So that's a fun story. The world's crappiest pen. 
or it was for me anyway, you'd pump the hell out of it to try and get paint to come through. You'd do half a tag and it just, that's it. It just, there was no nothing coming through. Still nicked them though. The gorilla. This f fun story, I was um, doing a job in Bristol Zoo, uh, doing a gorilla enclosure. And um, there used to be an island in the middle with water all the way around it. And it, you could stand and see the gorillas on the island. And uh, one of the keepers was telling me a story about a whole group of school kids stood around watching a gorilla, you know, blowing raspberries at it and taking the piss out of it. And a little duck <laughs> swam up to the island and the gorilla reached in, snatched up the duck and just <laughs> tore it apart <laughs> in front of all the school kids. <laughs> and, it, and it was just looking at it like a piece of paper, just ripping it and all his lungs hanging out and all the kids screaming and vomiting. And <laughs> oh, God, I, I do apologise. That's not funny, that's horrific. <laughs> I'll teach him, little git. Chimp, oh, another one of him. That's uh, Henry Zabrowski. There's some Vaughan Bodie that I like to draw just for fun because it's just nice to draw. I don't use it for anything and I wouldn't use it for anything. I just, it's for my own pleasure. Another one from a panel from a Vaughan Bodie book. Uh, that is Mr. Graff. I had the opportunity of designing a um, Mr. Man character uh, for, it was an Upfest when they were sponsored by them. And um, I designed a character which they kept and I gave all the rights to them, etc, etc. So if they ever do anything with them, great, you know, but it's a bit of an experience. Cardboard with my name on it. Very, very happy crocodile or alligator. Uh, that chap, that thing. Ah, uh, there we are. That's from Gert issue six. Another one of my books. I think I've I've got fourteen out there, out and about. I like the tracing paper bit. This with the stamp. It's got sketches and drawings and. Yeah, with the, all my mythical guns that I did. I love drawing those. I might have to do some again. I really like that. Bullets tipped with the fillings from dead Nazis. Gas powered with banshee screams. Fired for a breast Bible. Padlock from Pandora's box. Yeah, I like those. Noggin popper igniter. Sight made from a troll finger. Trap soul powered. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, they're out there somewhere, these books, I think. Not all of them, but some of them. Give them a look, you see. Hellboy. Green boy. Yellow boy. Purple boy. Blue boy. I'm going to go up. That long necked. Twerp. Uh, there we are. That's a, I think is a kakapo, flightless. Um, I suppose he's a parrot. I guess. I think he's in New Zealand. I don't know. Yes, it is New Zealand. Sure, it is kakapo. Uh, I open up. Yes, there's the kakapo again. Bit of egghead. If you want to read it, pulls it. It's not very good. But. These were for a book I did, which I have handily. This one, National Geographic, a coloring book illustrated by Chio. And it's all animals from around the world and then you color it in yourself. So you're not only having fun, you're learning. Isn't that incredible? Having fun and learning. New Zealand, you've got the Kakapo, the Kiwi, and the I Don't you Know We. Uh, Galapagos, that's the seawater iguana, I think, or I don't know. 
That's a blue-footed booby. <laughs> Boobs. That is um, the giant land tortoise. I guess it is. Apparently delicious. All the um, gits that used to turn up there used to just stack them up on their ships because they come in their own packaging, you know, obviously with the shell. Just tie them up, stack them all up, and then they like boil in a bag. And it feed, feeds quite a few people. Apparently they're really tasty. Obviously, don't eat one, but all the knobheads from the past did. Um, Canada, raccoon, moose, beaver. He's got dam on his hat because they make dams, don't they? Clever stuff. Africa, lion, warthog, crocodile. Quite enjoy drawing. He said, like, I love drawing animals. I do anthropomorphizing, I think it's called. When you put human characteristics into animals and um, inanimate objects. See, I tried very, I tried desperately then to sound intelligent, but I just sounded like a pirate stumbling over his words, just like then. Red panda, slow loris, live fast. Oh. And the panda, obviously. All owned by China, aren't they, pandas? And we got to rent them. That's nice. Um, moving on, North Pole, a little fluffy seal, Morris faced a git, polar bear, who would obviously in real life be ripping that to shreds, and even trying to bite that. India, tiger, no, 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 you know what all that is. Uh, UK, most boring wildlife on the planet, a load of scavengers, and... The only reason you notice them is because they've left ass deposits in your garden. You wouldn't even know they're there otherwise. Boring. Not boring. They're just, you know, none of them want to... There's nothing that wants to eat you or chase you down or anything. Why is that a good thing? I don't know. Moving on. USA. Talking of scavengers, that's one. And you've got buffalo and a brown bear. Another Bode panels. I keep saying Bode, it's not Bode, it's Bode. Because it's got the doodad over the name. So I apologise if I say Bode at any point. point. It's Bode. Another couple of panels. God, I bored myself then with that. Snap out of it. <laughs> what are Jawas coming across it? I've snuck in and tagged on the side of their, um, I forget the name of it, say Land Crawler, is that what it's called? Uh, and that's looking through the, oh god, moving on, nothing much to say about that, very small person with a very large pen, some more Bode panels, which I just love drawing. Beautiful. Not my drawings, obviously. That would be big headed to say my stuff's beautiful. I have a beautiful drawing there. Um, the front cover of aforementioned National Geographic. Fun for everyone. Oh, we got some more. Eh? Australia, duck billed platypus. The twat of the animal kingdom. Just looks daft. Kick your head in, kangaroo, and um, apparently their farts smell of eucalyptus, koala. Some more bears. That's it, that must have been my bear stage that I was going through there. Right, I've got a bit more egghead. Say, so pause and read if you wish. Uh, family portrait. This box of eggs. Another one. Uh, who came first? The chicken or the egg? Look, because they've had. Yeah. 
bit of egghead for the front cover cover. The front cover of issue five of Gert. With lots of guff inside. Oh that was a massive piece I did that. That was all the seasons all in one row. Yeah, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Who's that bold bloke? Who's that bold tosser? Oh, that's me. On a train in America land by the looks of things. And the world's funniest joke. What is it, Dad? Don't poke it, son. You could make it angry. And it's a big steaming pile of what looks like human dung. So on that note, cornfield dung. Kind of apt, really, to what this video was. Thanks for watching.